Okay, people, this is very, very important. Most people don't read manuals, so I'm just going to show you and tell you how to do it. That way, when you get here to Thailand, you're not freaking out and busting your fingernails and stuff. When you drink the water here in Thailand, they have a little seal on the top. There are a couple different types of water here. You have the kind of glass bottles that they recycle the bottles. But anyway, most of it comes in the plastic bottles just like they do everywhere else in the world. But listen, but these have the little seal on top. And if you take your fingernail and you start plying and pricking and doing everything at it, you can get it off. It's a hassle and a pain. Yes, this is a public service announcement. There is a dotted line on there. It is there for a reason. It's not anywhere else but right there. Take your fingernail, grab the little line piece. Ah, cha -cha -cha. I would, I would show you how hard it is to do it the other way, but it actually hurts my fingernails to try to, to get it off. <laughs> Water. Okay, this is seriously happening right now. It's in the afternoon. I'm on the computer looking at the YouTube channel, responding to comments. I took a break and I was watching a parody of these guys uh you can click on their it's they are so funny and what their parody of is is what we do they do it i'm doing it and as i'm doing it i'm laughing because my phone is going off i've got people on facebook talking to me i'm talking to them on facebook i have fawn on line and she's communicating with me so i'm talking to her on the phone i'm talking to people on facebook and i'm trying to watch a video that people are mocking this. It's funny. Funny. I just thought it was funny. The middle of January in Bangkok. It is 33 degrees Celsius. Not too much humidity. Back where I'm from, it's three degrees Celsius. For the Fahrenheit lovers out there, that means it's 91 degrees here and it's like 36 back home. This is really cool. Not literally, you know what I mean. Everyone has pre-warned me though that the upcoming months, April, March, April, May, it's going to be so miserably hot here. But I wanted to just say right now in the middle of January, not too shabby. I like cold weather, but I also like warm weather. Shorts are sometimes better than coats and jackets but I do I do love the cold weather I should travel and go see something cold Thailand Rob in Alaska that's pretty cold Alaska but beautiful let's see what the styrofoam fairies did today no nah. that's a lot of styrofoam it's all trash these guys create stuff every night in that little area. I have yet to get up the courage to film any of it because they do all their work at night, but just more, just more styrofoam. Hello, he doesn't speak, at least not English or Thai, but he tries, yeah. Okay, yes, I'm on the swing, but I promise not to swing because I haven't oiled the chain because I can't find the oil here. It's somewhere. I'll oil it later. So I'm not putting my feet on the ground because if I do, I'll start swinging. So anyway, I apologize. The one, th one thing what I want to talk about today is I have meant to talk about this even way, way back. And then once I went to Pattaya, I wanted to talk about this and I just remembered it. So I'm talking about it because I want to talk about it. The term butterfly man. If you go to uh, if you go to a bar, go go bar, any bar, any place that's designed to have the bar girls, many bar girls. There's a term in Thailand called butterfly man. There it may be uh, in other parts of the world, but I had not heard it till I got here. They've even evolved it in Pattaya. In Pattaya you can be called a butterfly man, but they'll also call you a helicopter. 
a little bit more modern. When I first, here I go, sorry. When I first heard the term, uh, I was confused by it, but in a nutshell, here's what happens. If you go into a bar on Monday, and I didn't do this, I'm just giving you an example with dates. If you go to a bar on Monday, then all of the girls are going to look at you, try to size you up, or they're going to try to meet you. Hey, hey, you know, do you like me? Do you want to buy me a drink? And if you pick one, she will stay with you the whole night. She'll have drinks with you. That's your girl. You got the girl. The other ones completely are okay with that. They don't bother you or anything. If you don't like that girl and you want a different girl, that's completely respected as well. One girl will come over. One girl will leave. It's no harm, no foul, nothing. Usually nothing. But if you go in with no intention of taking a girl home, if you go in just to have a beer or something, like some people do, but if you go in on a Monday, then all the girls look at you and they're like, hey, okay. If, then you go back on Tuesday and they're kind of like, okay, well, he didn't take anybody home last night. So, and then you start talking to other girls in there and and then you come back on, let's say, a Wednesday, and you talk to other girls. Okay, dude, you're a butterfly man. They've already sized you up that you're not taking anybody home, you're not picking anybody, and therefore, you're a butterfly man. At first, I thought it was cute. I thought, oh, I'm a butterfly man. Talk to everybody, but don't get serious with any of them. I thought it was okay. Then, I figured it out. Once in Patia, it became really clear once you become a butterfly man, there might be a couple of girls in the bar that are still just friendly and nice, and they'll hang out with you. But the rest of them, mmm, that smile, that tie smile that everyone talks about, there I go again, that tie smile that everyone talks about will quickly disappear, especially when alcohol gets involved, because the girls are usually drinking. Not all of them, but the girls are drinking, and when they get drinks, it's like if they're, if they're, if they're dead if they're pissed off or if they don't like you and they're drinking oh i've got when i first came to bangkok i found a girl and i thought she was the nicest girl until i never took her home the girl can't stand me now i've had a woman that i thought was completely nice and friendly like a mama son actually pour beer at my feet in disgust because i didn't take anybody home sorry the helicopter term was new. So I would joke with the, if I'd go, in, when I was in Patia, when I was in Patia, if I'd go to a bar and they'd say, what's your name? I'd say, Hel uh, I'd say Butterfly Man. Just so it'd stop right there. And the girls came in and they were just like, oh, helicopter, helicopter. I'm like, yeah, helicopter. Then they got a cute response. I'm the airport. They knew that, <laughs> calling, calling you the helicopter and, and they're saying they're the airport. So you can land. If you live here in Thailand, you're laughing because it's so true. And you probably know more about it than I do. So you can put that in the comments because, again, I don't know crap about Thailand. But I do like finding it out and sharing it as soon as it comes to my brain. Because, yeah, I didn't know they would get pissed off at you. Yeah, I, I, mm. I didn't know you could go into a bar and actually have girls just pissed off just because you're talking to everybody instead of one everybody. And you guys know me, I don't ever shut up. So I'm not just gonna pick one, but I can talk to all of them. I did pretty good about not swinging. Really? I don't think I can oil it. I think that's the wood. I don't know, it's annoying either way. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? <laughs>
And of course it didn't do it. 